going on? It's Brain and Raquel. Your personal jewelers. In this video, we're in the kitchen because Raquel just made lunch and it sparked the idea, the one of the most effective ways to clean your gold, your diamonds, is boiling hot water. It sounds crazy, but the reason being when you're wearing all your stuff daily, unfortunately, it sounds gross, but you get a lot of sweat, oils, lotions, different stuff piled up in all these pieces of jewelry. The best way to do it, the easiest way to do it, you don't need to go buy products or different jewelry cleaners. You just put on some boiling water. Raquel taught me this years ago. I was a little skeptical, but I didn't really know much about jewelry then, and it works. So once in a while, we use this simple method. Raquel, show them what we're doing here. We're waiting for the water to boil. We got a nice little cute Raquel pink pot there. We got some chains. We got an 18 karat three millimeter diamond cut Franco. I want to show you guys the difference. She probably put it on high, it's like gone low. My bad, guys, I don't know how to boil water, sorry. Okay, so we have on the left, we have the used one. This one I'm wiggling. On the left is the used 18 karat. Um, it's been worn probably about two, three years now, every single day. It has some use. And on the right is a brand new Jacoji Dime Cut Franco. So as you could see, the used versus new, this baby needs to be cleaned. So we're gonna do our best there. Also we have, and I just wanna show you guys the difference because when you're wearing them, you might not notice it, but you should clean your jewelry. We got a three and a half Dime Cut rope and then a five millimeter 18 karat Cuban link. So these are our little test guinea pigs today that we're gonna put in that scorching boiling water and see what the outcome is. Do you think maybe we should mention that my dad was in the business? For yes, that's why. This is that's the old school. This is the old school when all else fails, you clean. I will say gold, diamonds, yes, some precious stone or semi-precious stones, colored stones, you might wanna to Google to make sure because you might have some issues with. So I'm talking gold and diamonds, exclaimer. It's boiling. All right, the water has come up to temperature, as they say. Let me see your wrist real quick. We are going to use Raquel's diamond bracelet as a prototype here. Okay, like I said, diamonds. Raquel, do I have your permission? Yes. Times. Oh, that actually, okay. It is boiling. I gotta show this box lock. Guys, this is reality. I'd love to show you guys brand new Jacoji merchandise. It looks all shiny but I'm the realist, so I gotta show you. This is, Jacob, how many years have you had this Cuban? Four. Four years of daily wear. He never takes off, it goes in the shower, but the shower is good. A lot of people ask, can you shower with your gold? Yeah, do it, because it helps clean it. It doesn't look that bad, but all that, he never takes this chain off. So all that dirt, well, getting it, Raquel? Yeah. That's all gunky, and that's kind of what to expect, especially like in between the links. You really don't clean or whatever, they, that gunk could get in those bigger Cuban links. It'll get like that. So let's put this, cause this is screaming right now. We are going to drop the 18 karat Cuban link. Again, you can do this. It's not gonna harm or affect the chain if it's real. That's why you gotta get on jacoji.com. We got, and this rope chain actually looks pretty good for daily wear. Um, I was actually impressed overall. But again, I do think the shower Hopefully you guys shower every day. It helps with kind of just cleaning that surface area. But with rope, sometimes in between those little links, they all that dirt and gunk gets in there. The Franco, like we said and mentioned there. So we're just gonna let these guys sit, set it, and forget it. All right, Raquel is doing her thing over here. She's cooking gold. She's cooking some gold. Look at that. So mix it around. And also, if you have, you wanna go into it, you can get like, um, a soft sponge, not one that's all crusty and used, a soft one, take it out and scrub it, or a soft bristle toothbrush, always with that friction with a sponge or a toothbrush, it's gonna be more effective, but you could just seriously let this sit. If you're making the, what do we do? Pasta, mashed potatoes, what else, Raquel, for boiled water? This is like the most expensive dish you'll ever have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, is, this will impress the guests, just you could, a, teach them this, or B, clean all their jewelry. They'll be happy, they'll be happy. <laughs> but whatever you do, seriously, you could just heat the, this is so easy to do, and just let it sit. And this heat, obviously, is just taking away that grime and that gunk. As I explained, there goes Raquel's diamond cross. She's really risking it all there. Those are some nice pieces. 
And so we're just gonna sit there. I don't know how long you think, Raquel. It's been like it's been like a minute. So we need to rinse it off. Yeah, we're gonna rinse it off and see what they're looking like. You ready? Yes. Hold on. You really need to learn how to cut. That's a new toothbrush. Yes. Okay, guys, we want to go above and beyond because we appreciate you guys smashing that like button for us. So, and I want my yeah, exactly. So, we put some Dawn dish soap on this toothbrush. Again, make sure it's soft. Um, cause you don't, reason being, you don't want it to scratch. So, I made sure this is cooled down now. I can really work with it. But, like I said, friction is really going to be the one to do this. And you could do this cleaning all on its own. Let me turn that off. You could do this cleaning all on its own. This is really effective, but for diamonds, you just want to work it and get under those prongs and around, and it's really going to turn out like brand new. So yeah, because it has those breathing holes. Look at Brayden pretend to be a jeweler for the day. Okay, so I'm just working this, getting it clean. We're coming with the assist, nice and drippy. And you're going to do this so that that. The hot water you could use in itself if you don't want to go this, and you could use this in itself as well. So if you really just want to go above and beyond like I'm doing for you guys right now, then do both of these, and you're gonna have a shiny outcome. But if you use a lot of soap, make sure you rinse it. Make sure you use a strainer as well. So if you fumble that football, you can recover it. But I'm just, I'm just rinsing this off. Again, water is not gonna hurt you. For some reason, everyone thinks water is gonna like Kill your pieces it's not when so shower, they should wash it. yeah you can showering, naturally like, for sure now just the feel of this bracelet is so much cleaner um than when i first got it when you first get it you kind of it's like it doesn't feel like gunky but it just feels clean and those diamonds now they are hitting so that is that piece okay we're back with the cuban link Pulling it down, pull it down. Dab me up with some soap, good, thank you. So again, with the high polished gold, you wanna make sure it's a soft bristle, that's why I recommend it. And Can you put it on? What? Can you put the brush? Yeah, it's on. And you wanna make, and I'm doing a YouTube video, guys, so, I mean, I'm just kinda of like trying to show you guys, but if you, 10 minutes you spend working on this thing. If you want to get in between the links, whatever you want to do, um, it's just going to come out that much better. So around the box lock, that hot water loosened up all those oils. And that's what causes, I want to do a separate video um, about this, but all those oils is causing that dullness, is causing that chain just to look like it's been used. So um, doing this will definitely help. Very important soft bristle. Yeah, soft bristle or a sponge, but this obviously is more focused and with the bristle, you're gonna get a better cleaning. All right, guys, I got tired. Raquel took over. She's washing the three and a half millimeter diamond cut rope. The rope chains, like I mentioned, get dirty because those oils get trapped in between those links. This is Jacob's rope he got for his birthday years and years ago. He wears it daily, but um, he actually cleans it in the shower with soap. So he takes good care of it. Like I mentioned, when I saw it, he took it off. I was like, wow, this rope chain looks pretty good for being used or worn for two, three years. So. Um, we're just doing, getting all those oils, and it does look good. And like I mentioned, you could do this first, then throw them in the boiling water. You could do whatever you, any way works. I can make like 50 videos on how to clean your gold diamond jewelry, and it all makes sense. Good shot right there, Raquel. That looks, that really looks good. That's a good job. And that's why this video is effective. See, seriously, guys, that's that same gold chain that we showed. Now those diamond cuts are glistening inside. And it's looking new. Yeah, check out the Miami. We completely, completely, let me cut the water off here. We completely cleaned the Miami Cuban link as well as that box lock. Raquel, can you show the box lock? Remember how black and gunky that was? You see it? It is good now. It is clean. Like That's just, you can see through it. <laughs> that is just, yeah, it was all black. Where's the, the tag end? And then see how dirty that one was? It is brand new clean. So that's all it that's all it takes to clean it. Make sure you stay on top of it and clean your jewelry because it works as you see across the screen. And we started cleaning our jewelry. Everybody wanted their jewelry clean. So guys, like I mentioned, if you're throwing a party, clean everyone's jewelry. It's a popular big hit. If you don't know how to cook, DoorDash replayed it. They'll think you made it. So either way, it'll be a good host. 
Um, we have, and honestly, go back to the pot. It's really struggling to boil at this point because all those diamonds is just frozen that water. So we'll <laughs> see if it actually comes out to boil. Look at the end result, guys. Honestly, I'm impressed. This is the way to do it. If you want to really bring your jewelry back to life, as it should, do this method. It literally took us like 10 minutes. This was the easiest YouTube video we've ever made, so everybody's happy. Boiling water, put your golden diamonds in. If you want to go the extra mile, get a soft bristle toothbrush, Dawn dish soap. You can scrub a little bit, you can do it before, you can do it after, um, and the end result, trust me, you'll thank us. Those little electronic ones are good too. Yeah, that was actually, that was a good feature. We went high tech with that. I went deep in the It was water. like, I felt like I was polishing. I felt so important for a little bit. So thank you, Raquel, for teaching us this method. Use it. It works. I've been doing it for years. Smash. Good. Yeah, smash. Thanks for watching. That's it for today's video. Let us know if you've tried this method. I actually had a client. What happened? He put his chain in, boiled it, and like left for like a while and forgot about it. It was like half a day now. <laughs> There's like no water No left. water. So it was shiny. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. See you on next Julie video. Smash. Smash.